Welcome back everyone. Today we're reviewing the new movie Margot, directed by Stephen C. Miller. It is available on Video On Demand, so let's get started. So the story starts out with a group of college friends who go on a vacation away for the weekend to a smart house. When they first arrive at the house, on their phone there is a little waiver for the smart house and they either accept or decline it, and everyone accepts it except for the character of Hannah, played by Madison Pettis. The cast in this movie is honestly incredible. They are led by Madison Pettis, who plays Hannah, Jedediah Goodark, who plays Drew, Vanessa Morgan, who plays Lexi, Phoebe Mew as Kayla, Jordan Buat as Devin, and Richard Harmon as Clay. Apologies if I messed up on any of those names, but let's talk about the smart house. Now this smart house is, first off, aesthetically pleasing. The house is beautiful. Um, the pool is really pretty. Something I really love about this movie is that it's just stunning throughout the film. It has a very futuristic feel to it, and this is something I liked right off the bat. When they arrive at the smart house, the smart house is named Margot, and it begins talking to them. It knows a lot about them because it accepted on their phone, so I assume this accepted some cookies, and it basically sent over all of their data, their information, into this smart house so it can personalize their experience. For example, Clay likes to smoke weed a lot, and when Clay walks to his room, the whole entire room is full of marijuana. This smart house is so smart that it just can customize rooms, it can prepare food, prepare drinks, and it's honestly really cool. It reminds me of the original Disney family movie Smart House, but this has a lot of twists and the house is a lot more evil. Now, I actually got to talk to the director, Stephen C. Miller, today, and we had a great conversation, and he had this to say about what it was like casting Susan Burnett as the voice of Margot. Susan Bennett, who's the voice of Siri, voiced Margot. Was that correct? And if so, that is true. did you guys do that intentionally, and how did that feel? How did, yeah, you know, 100%. How did it feel that that brought the film together? Well, you know, we went back and forth on what voice to get. I mean, we, we went after several different directions. I mean, at one point we were going to go to Drew Barrymore. I mean, at one point we were, we were going to go into a couple other uh, huge horror icons to voice Siri. Um, but ultimately it came down to, I felt like the audience would feel more connected and at home if they recognize the voice subconsciously. Um, and that became, how do we get Siri? Uh, and crazy enough, we just hit up Susan Bennett um, and she said, sure, I'll do it. And it was a wild recording session because Siri is saying things Siri should never say. Uh, and it's a lot of fun to hear her do it. Uh, so I feel like it really helped the audience settle in subconsciously and, and really feel like, okay, we know this voice. Um, even if they don't, even if they have Androids, they still know or have heard Siri. So it, it was just a, an element that I think made them feel safe just enough for me to turn it on its head. Steven and I talked a lot of spoilers, things that happened in the movie and behind the scenes, and there will be a video about that up this week. The full interview will be up. And I also will be posting an ending explain video on September 9, 2022, so if it's past there, it's already up on my page, so check it out. Let's just say that this movie is not as predictable as you think, and Steven C. Miller did a great job at not making this movie predictable like I thought it may have been in the beginning. So I say give this movie a chance. I personally liked it. I'm a big technology fan, Black Mirror fan, all of that. So I really love this. It reminded me of a Black Mirror episode a little bit. So if you love sci-fi, future technologies and all that, you will love this movie. I think it also has a great message that the AI that we are adapting and evolving every single day is really dangerous deep down. It could be dangerous. It could lead to people dying. It could lead to horrific accidents. And we need to be aware of this. So. Great movie, I really enjoyed it, so let me know what you thought of the movie if you do get to watch it, and if you are planning to watch it, let me know what you're excited to see, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.